After two days of record high infections, lockdown is returning to Melbourne. From midnight on Wednesday, everyone will have to stay at home except for essential reasons, including some workers in vital jobs to buy food and medical items and to exercise. Restaurants will close, only takeaways will be allowed. There is simply no alternative other than thousands and thousands of cases uh, and potentially more, many, many people in hospital and the inevitable tragedy that will come from that. 191 people tested positive for coronavirus in Victoria on Monday, not the outcome hoped for after strict social distancing measures were already enforced in some suburbs to try and control the spread of the virus. The high numbers leading to the closure of the border with the neighbouring state of New South Wales. A logistical nightmare with the Defence Force and police brought in to ensure no one crosses. This is something entirely different. This is going to affect the travel of my staff because I have staff and clients on living and working on both sides of the border. The most concerning part for authorities is that very few of the new coronavirus cases have been linked to other known infections, making it near impossible to monitor and leaving Premier Daniel Andrews with what he says was no choice but to bring back the tough measures. Even stricter measures are being enforced on 3,000 residents in nine public housing towers in Melbourne, many from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. Zara Nebere is one of them. She says they feel excluded and thinks the huge police presence below is unnecessary. It must be quite an anxious time for everyone. In the past, they've had some difficulties with the police and racial profiling, and it's like it's bringing up trauma for some of the young people also because for them, in their perspective, the police are here to punish them. Until now, Australia has been successful in suppressing COVID-19 infections, but returning to lockdown is a major setback as Australians attempt to recover from the impending recession and rising unemployment. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera, Canberra.